Hi guys, I hope you're all well and having the best week. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to a new video. This week I thought we could film a little prep with me, pack with me kind of video because I'm going to Paris if I hadn't mentioned already, I know it's quite annoying, um, on Sunday which I'm so so excited about and I've bought a whole bunch of new clothes that I need to style and need to pair different outfits together so I thought we could do that today um, and kind of just think about what we're actually going to wear. This is mainly going to be day outfits because my evening outfits haven't actually come yet. I'm going to cry. Um, fingers crossed they come as soon as possible. They're meant to be coming tomorrow and hopefully they look okay because if not then I'm in serious trouble. But yeah, I've ordered some outfits from PLT for the evening that haven't yet come. Um, and yeah, I thought we could do a bit of outfit planning, a bit of styling, a bit of getting our shit together. Um, kind of packing our makeup bag, you know, all the fun stuff that you do to prep for a holiday. We're going for three nights and four days, which I'm really excited about. We're going, I'm going with my two friends, Macy and Isla. So yeah, it's going to be a fun little girls trip. We're going to have the best time. We've booked so many nice places. We've booked Carrere, is it correct? I don't know. The hot chocolate place. We've booked a Greek restaurant, which looks so fun. We've just got a lot of fun plans. I'm just really excited to go now. I'm so ready to get on the plane and jet off to Paris. So yeah, I've got a whole bunch of clothes sat here with me. I've also got the bag that I'm taking to the airport. So I thought we could pack kind of like an airport bag, what I would take typically to the airport together. And yeah, I've got this really cute robe on that I'm also going to take to Paris. I don't know if you guys can see very well. It's this like bright pink silk and lace moment, which I'm obsessed with from Boohoo. And yeah, I feel like I can't really get a good angle here. Yeah, I'm just so, so excited to go now. I am literally ready for a glow up. I've got nine nails, one's missing, we're not going to talk about that, I need to fake tan or just sort the colour of me out because I look so pale, not in this camera as much but in person I do look pale so I need to fake tan, I need to sort my nails out, I don't know what nails to go for to be fair, I thought we could do like maybe a little glow up for Paris video for Sunday's upload um, which will be fun, I need to sort my hair, give it a blow dry, I've not really done anything to it today because I just want to keep the heat off it, actually GHG actually sent me this new um, product which I wanted to try. It's the GHD Duet Styler Professional 2-in-1 Hot Air Styler. So it's like a dryer and straightener in one. So maybe I can try this on Saturday for my Paris hair, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't be going to Paris with dull, flat hair. So we need to sort something out there. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I thought we could film a little prep video, plan our outfits together because I need to sort my shit out. I've not even planned one single outfit. So I thought we could do that today. I'm really excited to film this for you guys. And yeah, let's just get on with the video and start prepping for Paris. Okay guys, so I'm gonna run through and show you what I've got so far. So starting off with bags, I'm taking this bag here, which is this really cute, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus. It's this really cute, like baby pink Bottega dupe from Boohoo. I'm literally obsessed with this. I actually got it off Vinted because it's sold out on Boohoo, but Honestly, obsessed with this. It's such a cute little bag. It's a nice size. I feel like I can fit my purse, my phone, and that's probably about it. But it was so cute. It was £10. And I just thought this. The colour theme I'm going for for Paris is like baby pink, but like light greys, creams, that kind of vibe. So I thought a pink bag was definitely necessary. So I picked up a pink bag, which I literally love. And yeah, just obsessed with this. Got it off vintage though because it's currently sold out. But they have it in like a cream and maybe a baby blue as well. Um, but yeah, love that. And I'm obviously taking this bag as well for the airport, like my travel carry-on. Um, but I'll also wear this in the day as well, probably, because it's a good little trendy bag. But this bag has got loads of room in it, and it's just a really gorgeous bag. So I've taken those two bags so far. Oh no, I'm taking one from Vinted that I've also got. It's like a black sparkly ASOS bag, um, which is going to be for the evenings more so. But yeah, those are the day bags. Um, but then I've got a black sparkly one for the evening. So that is the current situation. But... Then I picked up this really cute scarf from Mango, which is like a baby pink, really nice cashmere kind of material scarf. And I just was literally obsessed with this. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to wear it yet. I don't know how I'm styling this, but I thought it was really, really cute. And I just loved it. So I picked this up from Mango. I actually got it on John Lewis, not Mango, but it's from Mango. And I thought it was a really nice, it looked quite expensive as well. I think it was like £20 maybe. Um, and yeah, I really liked it. So I thought I'd go nice for like a lecture layer because it's going to be cold. Um, and yeah, pick that up because I just thought it was really cute. And then I got this cardigan, which I've been looking for for the longest time off a brand called Calico. Um, and it's like this really nice, fluffy, fuzzy cream cardigan. Um, I thought this would be perfect for layering again. And yeah, I think this would be really cute. I've got a skirt that I think is going to go really well with this. I'll actually show you my idea for that. Um, I feel like, yeah, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should run through 
what I'm wearing with each item. So cardigan, I'm thinking this cardigan is this fold over skirt, which is from PLT, which I'm literally obsessed with. It looks longer on camera, but it's not actually that long. But it's actually really cute. It's like a fold over mini and it's a knitted material. And I got it in a size small. Um, so yeah, I thought this skirt, this cardigan would be a vibe. And then maybe with, I could either just do like a normal vest underneath or I was thinking maybe like a pink top which I got this one from Team U. it's like a baby pink um long sleeve skims kind of dupe and I thought that could, could be cute underneath maybe you know just get some pink in there I think I could wear that and I'm thinking my Ugg boots pink bag and then a white fur coat over the top but obviously my leg is going to be freezing so I might wear some like see-through tights I don't really know we'll decide when it comes to the day but yeah pick that up and then also I could actually wear these with them which I'm obsessed with. I got these from PLT as well. They're like a cream star and pink earmuff, which is so cute. Perfect again for keeping me warm, but also like a cute accessory, you know, for Paris. And they're so fluffy and warm. I literally love them so much. Um, so yeah, that's like outfit number one kind of vibe I'm thinking so far. Um, I'm gonna have to think like once I've set all the outfits out and make sure I wanna wear you know certain things with certain items or mix it up I don't know but this is like a brief overview of what I've got so far and what I'm thinking I'm gonna wear it with okay next fit that we've got I'm sorry my hair is really winding me up but I went to my local Zara the other day um which is if you local in Telford and it's closing down which is so so sad um but the positive to that is that they were doing a huge huge sale so i picked up a couple pieces from there and this was one of them which i was literally obsessed with and i'm sorry but the price of this guess guess guys you won't even know have a guess 7.99 i'm sorry it was 30 pounds 7.99 insane um i got it in a large because that was the only size they had but I got this really cute, it's like a red and cream and pink, um, a weird detail actually, but I really am here for it, I don't know what you'd call this, kind of messy kind of vibe, but I literally am obsessed with it, it's a cardigan and it's pink on the outside and it's got like white and red details in it, which I'm obsessed with and I literally love this and honestly when I tried it on I was like that is coming home with me, literally insane, so so nice. Um, and then I thought I could wear with that to tie in with the cream on the cardigan. I got these PLT knit trousers in like a cream. They're kind of like a low waist. And I've tried this outfit on and it's literally chef's kiss. So gorgeous. But I got these PLT trousers in a size medium. And yeah, I think these are so nice. And then I'm thinking of like a white vest and maybe some masambas, I think. And the pink bag. I'm not sure. Um, but that's what I'm envisioning, I think. So that's the vibe that we're going for with those and yeah I think it'll be really really cute but this is the outfit that's the second outfit for the day and um, I think that'll be a really cozy outfit as well with like a white fur coat over the top it's prioritizing like warmth and being cool at the same time because I don't want to be freezing because I've heard it is cold in Paris at the minute so yeah definitely want to be warm but cool at the same time so that's the vibe that I'm kind of going for um, so that's another outfit. The next outfit I'm thinking I'm wearing is this big PLT oversized knit which is in like this kind of like a biscuit not a biscuit but like a really nice dark cream and it's a really nice material kind of like a crochet but it's size 10 you'll probably get away with wearing this as a dress to be honest but i just think this is stunning it feels really good quality and i believe it was like 20 20 pounds or something i'm thinking with these pinstriped pink and white trousers which are personally i think a vibe i don't know whether they're pajamas or not but i'm wearing them as trousers i don't really care um, but they're like a wide leg pinstripe trouser from where are they from boohoo um and they are in a size 10 and yeah they are pajama they're pajamas pinstripe pajama trouser so i don't know it come with a matching shirt but i only got the trouser part and i just saw these in the summer with like a pink bikini over the top and a beach bag would look really cute as well but also for like spring and stuff and i feel like with the knit they might go i mean i need to try it on and see but so far so good i think um but that is what i'm going to be wearing maybe on one of the days i need outfits for four days so yeah four days um but one of them's going to be like a traveling back home outfit so it's not going to be like anything extravagant so maybe that could be a traveling home outfit because it's quite comfy casual warm you know i don't want to be too revealing and you know dressed up on the way back home so 
that is another outfit the next outfit i'm thinking i'm taking is these gray flares which are from bershka so i'm thinking of taking these gray flares look an ash gray wide leg flare with like a big thick waistband which i'm obsessed with i tried these on and they were literally stunning they fit so so nice and yeah i got these in a size small and i'm thinking of either wearing these i've got two options for this these bottoms which i'm not really sure about it's gray bodysuit which is so so cute i'm literally obsessed with it it's got two little baby pink bows and i'm just in love with this i actually have tried this on already but i folded the bodysuit up so it's like a crop top kind of vibe because i wasn't a fan of the bodysuit so either them two together with like my uggs white fur coat brown fur coat together or i was thinking this jumper which again i got from the zara sale which was an absolute steal have a guess 10 pounds for this i think this looks so expensive again it's a similar fur to the white cardigan that i shared with you guys but it's like a really nice thick fluffy fur in like a baby pink and it's like a t-shirt jumper which i'm obsessed with and i literally love this so i think either that bodysuit and the trousers or this jumper and the trousers maybe with the pink bag i think it would look, could look really cute um but yeah i got this in a size small and i really love that the top is in the eye i think it's in a six let me have a look yeah got the top in a six because i wanted a bit more of a tighter fit this like snood from primark which i thought was really cute um i'm not really sure what i'm gonna wear it with yet i have like some gray flares a white fur coat and then this over the top for like extra warm but it's just a snood from primark it's got like the strings attached i've got a cream one as well which i think is cute I wanted ones with strings and it was at five pounds and yeah i just thought it was a nice little accessory to keep warm if it gets really cold in the day i can just chuck it in my bag i don't know i just thought it was cute i don't know whether i'm gonna get anywhere out of this but you know when it's just an impulsive buy you feel like you need it so yeah i bought that but it'd be perfect for like skiing or when it snows or just the cold weather walking the dogs or something if i don't get anywhere out of it but i thought i might as well try and style it you know so i picked that up and i'm going to take this robe with me as well from boohoo i think to like get ready in maybe get a cute pic in the bedroom in like near the balcony i just thought it was a really cute girly pink robe which i'm obsessed with um but yeah i'm gonna start packing my kind of beauty bag and my handbag now so let's move on to that okay guys we're now sat i don't really know why i was stood up the whole time recording like what i was showing you i could have just been sat here but i feel like i just you know felt like i need to stand up but this is the bag that i'm taking to put all my like toiletries in for the plane and things um i'm thinking it's gonna fit everything in but i'm just gonna pack like my essentials for now that i can pack um but i'll still show you what i'm going to take like makeup wise and then hair stuff perfume etc but this is the bag how insane is this it's so cute i feel like you can't really see it very well let me zoom in but it's this gorgeous like pink floral makeup bag it's from team you and obviously everything is team you nowadays in my room um but yeah i just love this so much so it was really cute and yeah pick this up so i'm going to pack it and show you what i'm going to be taking in there also this is what i'm going to be taking in the bag that's not obviously going in that one so as i said i'm taking this bag so first thing passport my passport's not in here yet but i need to remember to put it in but from team you again it's just like pink kind of cute passport and love this so i got this for my passport and to make it a bit more you know aesthetic because it's quite boring passport and then obviously headphones i've actually got my headphone covers from team you as well that i want to attach at some point but these are definitely coming with me so i need to pack these in this bag too my purse which has got like my hit card my bank cards id things like that that's gonna go as well i need to get a new purse actually where can i get like a nice new purse from guys because i don't really know where to get one from um i feel like i need a fresh new purse but i just don't know which one i'd want um i'm just gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are feeling a little bit dry also is there anything worse than having just one nail missing it gives me a bit of the ick it just felt really like unput together I feel like i'm dying for a new set just look at these they're just disgusting but yeah um so yeah taking that and then also i think that's pretty much everything that i need to pack in this bag um i was gonna take my little diary but i thought you know what give yourself a break let's not be doing work while we're away so that's gonna that can stay there but for this bag and this is like non-makeup wise this is just like things i probably would like for the plane and once i get to paris so first off my little prada mirror which i'm obsessed with guys i literally love her so much i got her in my perfume when i got the prada um which one is it paradox intense and it come with this and i'm literally obsessed with it it's this like pink girly it's a really small mirror but i just thought it was really cute if you want to put your lip balm on it's just good to look in you know so i picked this up so that's going to be going in my little 
bag. Next, I don't know which lip balm to take, whether I, whether I take the Rode or the Laneige. I'm not really too sure. I love the Laneige for like the evening skincare, you know, when I haven't really got much makeup on, but I feel like this is better for like a gloss and to last longer because this is like a sleep mask. So I'm thinking probably the Rode. This is in vanilla. It's the pe peptide lip treatment and I need to get a new one because this is running really low. So taking that, eyelash curler, always important for me because I literally have no lashes. So I feel like I need to curl them every second of the day. Um, this one is from Boots, I believe, or Superdrug. I'm not really too sure, but it's a pink one. It actually matches the dressing gown, which I love. Um, so that can go in there. Also, another thing that I'm going to take because me and my hair just don't get along sometimes. Like at the minute, it's just doing my head in. So I think a clip will be necessary. So I'm going to take this little flower clip from Team U in this pink colour. Does it match my dressing gown? I can't see. No. But yeah, taking this pink clip from Team U because I never know when you need to keep your hair up. You know, it can be annoying sometimes. So taking that. Also, like my freshening up kind of bag, I'm going to call it, is my Sol de Janeiro 62 spray. Um, just for like a little spritz, you know, when you're off the plane, you smell. I don't know. It's just nice to have that little bit of a freshen up. So I put that in there. Also for a freshen up, my hand sanitizer. This bottle is from Team U again. Bloody hell, this is not sponsored. This is just me being obsessed with Team U. Um, and yeah, it's like this pink sanitizer spray. I love this so much. It's really satisfying as well. I'm just weird like that, but it's kind of my nose. But yeah, love this. So I'm going to add that in there. Perfume, I think I'm going to take this one just because it's smaller than the rest of them. My number one favourite scent at the minute is this replica um, by Maison Margiela. Um, it's Beach Walk, but it's a bit big and I'm running low. So I think this one will be good to take because it smells lovely and it's a lot smaller, you know, to carry around. So taking that, this is the bag that's so far that we've got in there. So I'm in between for makeup, my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter or the wet and wild foundation i'm not too sure i feel like this is good for like more of a full coverage but then do i want a full coverage i don't know so i think i might take this one just because it's a good foundation i know it's gonna last me all day as well so this is the foundation i'm gonna take and these are my standard products anyway my cream bronzer my bar mitchell blush collection concealer i used to use like literally two days ago this one revolution but it literally has just run out so i'm going to be taking this one instead for moisturizer i'm going to take the sol de janeiro bum bum cream because it just smells so good and makes you smell so fresh and amazing so love it um but yeah i'm going to take that for moisturizer and then also probably take just my nivea um moisturizer for my face brows i'm going to take the refi brow sculpt and then i'm going to take mascara the collection mile soaring length uplifting volume because this is so so good and then i'm also going to pack my got to be glued for if i do any sleep back looks because i'm planning on doing a few like sleep backs on the evening and stuff so this is essential for me you know for the flyaways and stuff i just need this to slick my hair back it's an essential product and lips is going to be charlotte tilbury pillow talk fave lipstick ever and then this is my really 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 old lip liner which i'm obsessed with but don't know where it's from which is so sad so i'm trying to get every last use out of this i believe it might be from rimmel or maybelline i'm not too sure but it looks really crusty but you know and it's just the best shade so i just want to use it um but i also love the nyx one as well i think it's in like coffee bean or something um but that's another fave of mine but this is like my ultimate fave and i'm super super sad that it's like nearly running out because i just love it so much i think that is pretty much it for makeup i think i've got everything that i need to take with me i probably will take a set of mist as well if it's at the limit of like if it's not 100 mil let me have a look actually yeah it's 75 so i can take this as well this is the l'oreal three second setting mist um setting spray so that'll be coming with me too but yeah i'm gonna pack this bag and it's pretty full already guys i don't know how i'm gonna fit all of this in here um and i also don't want anything to leak so i think i'm gonna put it in like a plastic bag and then put it in there but yeah this is the bag that i'm taking and i just love her so much i'm gonna leave this video here guys i feel like it's been a bit of a chaotic video but i feel like because i'm so stressed about packing for paris this week i feel like because i'm not fully packing yet i just wanted to show you guys all the clothes before i pack them and then i thought for sunday's video we can kind of do a bit of a glow up get my nails done tan do my hair get my outfit ready for the airport the next day like i just want to do that kind of video on sunday so i still wanted to get a video uploaded this week like two uploads this week so i thought you know what let's film a little brief overview of what i'm actually taking and 
yeah, I just wanted to get a video up for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a bit short and sweet and not really been much said, but I just wanted to show you a brief overview of what I'm actually taking to Paris and some of the ideas in my head that I had and packing my makeup bag and things. Um, but yeah, there will be like a full pack with me and um, glow up with me on Sunday. So be excited for that. And yeah, I'm really excited to go to Paris. I'm literally like I can't believe how close it is now let me know if you've got any recommendations for when I go and if you know any places that we need to go or brunches or dinners things to do places to see just let me know your exact things to do for Paris to-do list please because yeah we've got a few things planned but I feel like in the day it's going to be very much like shopping sightseeing so if there's any like activities that you know you can do in Paris during the day and things then let me know or like good bars to go to um, but yeah, I'm super excited and I can't wait to film it for you guys and yeah, just really excited to go now. So I'll be back with you on Sunday with a new video and packing with me, glowing up with me, sorting this face out because she's not looking cute at the minute and the hair's kind of stressing me out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big like and subscribe if you did enjoy and I will see you with a brand new video on Sunday.